I'm David Alexander, and I live in the city of Welland. I was on the city of Welland Council for seven years, and I just finished running for mayor, finished a close second. And I'm also on the was also on the board of the Federation of Canadian Municipalities. Um, it's a national organization of mayors and councillors, and we lobby the federal government to change policy at the federal level, infrastructure dollars, but also it's a fabulous network for sharing information. I think what's really important is that we need to get new people into the process. Is that we have we're so good at developing a good process here that what we need to do is have different ways of uh, getting people who may not be sure about what this is all about, but they know it might be the right thing, and trying to get new people involved. We're really good at getting young people, grade by grade, involved, and so we're building things from the bottom up. But how about all those folks who may or may not understand their role in climate change, but that they know that there's some concerns, security concerns, mm -hmm. uh, risk, things down their neighborhood, kind of that kind yeah. of thing, like the quality of their lives, yes. their neighborhoods are being affected by mm -hmm. the decisions that are being made or the decisions that are not, not being, being made. made. Yeah. So what do we need to do? How do we get in touch with mm -hmm. these people? Yes. How do we create a brand and it's exciting, it's fun, and it's cool, and if people aren't intimidated when they, when yes. they first join. I really feel like the point of contact that we need to make is almost at this neighborhood fence post level. And it starts at the store, yes. uh, it starts at uh, coffee shops, it starts in uh, community owned, community based restaurants, not the franchise <laughs> eat with your hands kind of thing, right? <laughs> it's uh, uh, something whereby, let's say at the market, mm -hmm. you, so you engage totally people grassroots coming up because we've we've I think we've seen now the institutions and the you know I think the the governance piece is well understood now. They know what's required of them and they're filtering things down. Yeah. How what we need is to be building it up from, from the grassroots level and, and maybe that requires what you said, creativity and fun and some risk taking and Yeah, well, yeah. And, and you know there's there's so many other parallel processes to this that we need to learn from. There's, there's healthcare coalitions, and there's community economic yes. development, grassroots businesses. There's um, the social networks, anti-poverty related groups, yep. those yep. kinds of... Getting the social justice pieces together. Right, where yeah. the, the, the founding principles mm -hmm. are the same. It might be the language about how that's communicated is different, but it means yeah. the same thing. Yeah, it does. Right? And then how do we share our stories as neighbors and citizens to create mm -hmm. that kind of community that is fulfills those values that it's a learning community mm -hmm. it's a, it's self-fulfilling it, 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 it's a hopeful it's worshipful uh, nice. it's something that is important that because one of the things that you know I've, I was on city well and council for seven years and it's disturbing to think that only a small number of people would show up to council meetings yeah yeah. The silent this, mass out here, people, or people who are who, 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 as I think I said earlier today, people who are, you know, they're on a treadmill, and mm. they're working so hard. They want to, yeah. they want to trust that there are sincere, um, hopeful, yes. positive people mm. who are really who really understand the needs of the community, serve the needs of citizens, who will be a good ambassador for that person's property taxes and you know, their, their vote, right? Yeah. Thank you. So.